right, here we go. Okay, folks, so you will need your tools. Have them handy. Have them handy. We have um, a kind of brief lesson here today. We don't have too much to accomplish in this lesson. Um, the main thing is, uh, this is our last construction. And here our construction is involving a square. You all know what a square is. Uh, regular octagon, regular meaning that all sides are the same length. Okay, And we're going to be inscribing them in a circle, which just means we're going to be using the circle to draw these shapes, and the shape will be inside of the circle. Okay, So just remember with a square, some of the basics we've got to recall is uh, all 90 degrees, all sides are the same, and then the uh, diagonals for a square also meet at 90 degrees. Just got to keep that in mind. That's going to help us. Octagon, just like an octopus, eight sides. Octagon, eight, that's the prefix. And all sides are the same because it's regular. And we could think about this, that a square has four sides and octagon has eight sides. So once we make our square, that's a big hint on how we're going to make the octagon. Maybe think about that because it's twice as many sides, twice as many vertices. And that is the clue on how these two processes are related. Okay. So really, we're going to just go over this, and then I'll show you the creative assignment you have for it. Um, we're going to create a circle around center A. So go ahead and get out your compass, remembering that we don't want to go too far off the page. We don't want to go over our words. So go ahead and make your circle, just adjusting it so it fits well on your page, wherever that is. Um, and I just noticed that I started to slip a little bit. So if you're slipping a lot with your compass, put a book under your page and that makes it grip a little bit better so now i can make my circle and that's a pretty good circle okay so i got my circle and now create a diameter now a diameter is just right across the circle it cuts the circle in half and if you could say well where do i make it do i make it here 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 Oh, it doesn't matter. If you go through the center, you're going to be cutting the circle in half. So go ahead and lay down a diameter wherever you like. I'm going to get Dylan in here. Welcome, Dylan. All right. And um, I'm going to go ahead and make it like this. So one thing, too, you can put your pencil on the dot you want to go through, the point. Bring your straight edge to that point, and then it's really easy to go and rip your paper like I just did. Dang it. Oh, wow. But I made my diameter. And the key here as well is that we have these two intersection points. No worries. All right, Dylan, we're just doing notes. I'll give you, remind me after to give you a screenshot, OK? OK, we created a diameter. And uh, now we need to make a, a double fish. Because remember that if we can make the other diameter here, and make it exactly 90 degrees, then we have our diagonals for our square. And anytime we want to make it right in the middle, we want to make it perpendicular to a line that's given, we always want to use our double fish. The double fish always breaks things in half. So look, I'm going to go ahead and uh, make one part of my double fish. Whoops. Whoops. I already did it well enough. That's fine. Keep the same radius. Make your other side. Here's my double fish. Oh, isn't it beautiful? Wow. Amazing. All right. So now we go to these intersection points and we say, well, I know that if I go through these intersection points, I'm going to have it in the middle. So let's go ahead and do that. Here's my line. Beautiful. And now you could put a 90 degree angle in there because you know that this line is perpendicular to our other diameter. And we've broken the circle into four equal equal uh, sectors. Now these lines or these points on the outside now are spaced exactly the same distance apart because anytime you make a diagonal, excuse me, you make a perpendicular line, it's going to break the segments in half here and we already had our original di diameter that broke it up here. So we've broken it into four equal sectors. And guess what we have to do now? Connect the four points around the circle. That's all we got to do. Boom. Boom. 
So remember, my hint to you is put the pencil on the point first, bring the straight edge to the pencil, aim, and make your line. Pencil to the point, straight edge to the pencil, aim, and make your line. Beautiful. Look what we have. We have a square. You can put some right angles in there if you like, just to show that these are squares. And what else can we put? How about we put tick marks? Hello. All those sides are the same. Because it's a square, you got to put the tick marks. Anytime it's relevant, go ahead and put your tick marks. Okay. Well, let's catch up there. Um, but for those that are caught up, think about how the heck, how could we get more than four points on this circle? What if I want instead of four, I want double? I want eight. So how could I get other points in these spots? And the hint was something I said in the beginning. And we're going to do that for this next one. We're not going to put the extra points in here because right now it's kind of drawn as a square and we don't want to confuse that. So we're going to do another. And look, for an octagon, same as numbers one, two, and three above. So again, we're going to create a circle with center in. We're going to create a diameter. We're going to make a double fish from the diameter circle intersections. So that's going to give us two diameters that intersect each other. Okay, so let's see. Let's go ahead and make our center here, center A. Make your circle an appropriate size for your page. There's a lot of choices here that you have to make on your own. So don't let that intimidate you. You just got to do your best. All right, there's my circle. And I want you to go ahead and do that. You know, throw a diameter in there. It don't matter where. Because if it's going through the center, it's definitely going to cut the circle in half. Two points. Beautiful. Now we want a perpendicular line between those two points. And remind me, is this going to work? Can I make my double fish if my compass is open this big? What do I need my compass to be open to? Instead of this big, how far open does that have to be? More than what? In order for the double fish to be created, it has to overlap. So, yep, that's right. We need to make it more than half. Once it's more than half, it's no big deal. The double fish comes natural. Watch. Stake it, lean it. Whoops. Stake it, lean it, arc it. Stake it, lean it, arc it. Nice. Two double fish, or one double fish. Guy. So I'm going to continue because this is the same as what we just did. There's my two intersection points I'm going to aim for. I'm going to put my pencil on one of them and aim for the other one. Beautiful. It went right through the center as planned. Now we would be ready to make our square, but now's my question for you. You actually can make the octagon by doing two more double fish. Now, where do we need to do them? Where should I do them? I need someone to answer this one. What should I do? I need to make, I need to make more double fish. Where? So right now we have four places. And you might think of this as, this is an angle, right? It's an angle right here, it's 90 degrees. If I wanna cut that angle in half, it would give me a spoke that goes right towards the middle point between them. So in order to make eight sides, we are gonna go more than halfway. I don't understand. I'm going to do this. I'm confused. So go more than halfway. And I don't understand DF. Here we go. Just making a double fish. Oh, geez. I'm so slow today. Thanks, Remy. For... Yeah. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Sometimes I'm just not having day where I can understand abbreviation. It's weird. One of those days. All right, good. So we're making that double fish right here. We'll go all the way across. It's going to be a new diameter. It goes to the center. And the double fish then breaks this sector in half. And then that is six points on it. It looks like if I have two more points on this side, I would have what I, what I need. So now I'm going to go ahead 
And it doesn't matter if I keep the same opening as long as it overlaps halfway. You know, I can make it this if I wanted, but I won't. I want the fish to fit right here, so I'm going to put it right about there. More opening it more than halfway, and we go here and arc it. I go from this side and arc it. Beautiful. Now these are these intersection points. They're going to point exactly towards the diameter, which I'm going to now put in there. Awesome. So guess what? We have eight spokes. So once you have eight spokes, go ahead and connect them. Okay. Pencil to the point. Straight edge to the pencil. Fine. Pencil to the point. Straight edge to the pencil. Fine. Pencil to the point. Straight edge to the pencil. Fine. What was that again? Pencil to the point. Point to the pencil. Fine. Keep going all the way around. And you will see quickly you have an octagonal. And um, this is like a stop sign. It's easier to see if you put it even with the screen like that. Stop signs are octagons. And that is our construction for regular octagons. Now, finish up yours, and I'll give Dylan, I'll give you a chance now to take a screenshot of the notes. These are all the notes for our last constructions here. So go ahead and take a screenshot, please. And then what I'll say is, um, let me just share with the homework and then I'll, I'll come back to this. You got it. I'm going to share the homework and then come back and show you what I made with this because we are wrapping up our lesson nice and early. 542, that's what we just uh, studied. And it has a document here. You're going to click on it. Now, there's two parts to this. There's part one. And part one is just doing, uh, oh, I see. I need to change this because it's problems two and three. I took, I took one out, two and three. Okay. For problems two and three, create a square and also an octagon, both inscribed in the same circle. Okay, so your octagon and your square are going to be in the same exact circle. And number two is just creating it around circle K. But number three has a radius measurement they give you. So just copy down the LP if you don't have the workbook. Copy it down onto your page and work from whatever you create. And then part two is the uh, create a creative uh, construction with at least one of the following. There are no other guidelines. You choose all measurements and placements. So you can make them all within one shape. You can make them overlap, but these are all of the constructions that we've learned so far. Okay. So I'm going to make a really good video on Monday when we go over this assignment and I'm going to make all of these different things to remind us that I might make that video before class um, because it might take more than the 25 minutes we have. Okay. So let me share back now the, um, The homework assignment. So again, this is my breakdown. And looking through the homework assignment, I have perpendicular, excuse me, a segment bisection. I have a couple segment bisections, right? And I put the tick marks to show that they're the same. I have an angle bisection right here. Remember, make the double fish between it. Okay. Uh, perpendicular line, I have a bunch of them. Here, here, here. To make parallel line, you have to make perpendicular. So I did that already. Parallel line, I made off of the side of the triangle. Equilateral triangle inscribed in a circle. Uh, regular uh, hexagon inscribed in a circle. Square and regular octagon. Now you can put all of these like inside of each other. I think that would look really cool. Put them all in the same circle. So, you know, it would be triangle in the middle and square, then hexagon and octagon because they would all kind of overlap. But um, you can also put, you know, uh, triangle and hexagon and then inside of that you could put a square and inside of that put an octagon so you know be creative with it uh, last two points on the octagon
can you go back to the last two points in the octagon? Sure, sure. sure. So the last two points in the octagon were, once you've created the guideline for the square, you create a double fish between the four uh, adjacent points on the circle. So we had these two points, and I used the, oh, we had these two points. And I made an octagon by making a double fish in between it to find the other points in between, right? Because if we have four equally spaced points on a circle, we find the points in between them, and then we have eight equally spaced points along the circle. So here are the two points. Create a double fish between the four adjacent points on the circle, and then connect all your points. That's it. Okay. So that's how we're making the octagon. This project here is creative, and I am going to look through all of them. You're welcome. I'm going to look through all of them, and actually um, next week we'll, we'll look at some of them that have been turned in to give you inspiration. But this, this assignment's going to be due next Wednesday, okay? For period four, uh, two, two and four. So if you listen to this in your period one to three, look at the homework assignment for the correct date. All right. Thanks for watching, folks.